Welcome to the Old Soul, New Soul Astrology Podcast. Thomas Miller along with Robert Glasscock. We are continuing the series that we started a couple of episodes ago about Saturn being in Pisces now until 2026 and how it relates to the 12 signs of the Zodiac. This is number two, so that would be Taurus. Robert? All right. Saturn transiting in Pisces happens to harmonize with Taurus people, either sun sign or rising. It's in the 11th house position to Taurus, which is the old textbook, Hopes, Dreams, and Ambitions. And Taurus people either are or should be feeling that somehow between now and February of 26, I can make some wonderful changes in my future ambitions and pursuits, mainly having to do with the collective. What am I putting out there through my work? Who am I associating with, not only in terms of friendships, but groups? Professional groups, for example, are a wonderful way for Taurus Rising or Taurus Ascendant to begin to move into a whole new and much improved career situation uh, so that professional associations that are, that are associated with things that you're interested in. It could be something like astrology or metaphysics because of Pisces. It could be the arts. It could be the sciences. It could be any number of things with Pisces. But uh, Taurus people in, in, in this phase before they go into um, February of 26 are looking for a more refined and ideal pursuit in the collective they'd like to leave a mark through something like perhaps nonprofit organizations helping disenfranchised people or different segments of the population such as children our immigrants or the elderly and i mean the list is endless here but they're looking for some focus in the collective where their personal talents can make a mark. And that's what they should be concentrating on over the next two years. They're in a transition of their visions of themselves five years from now, 10 years from now. What do I want to be doing then? Where am I having problems? How do I resolve those problems? Or do I simply let those problems die a natural death while I concentrate on this future goal? And part of that can entail getting some training of some kind or some further education of some kind. But really, it's it's trying to connect, if you're a Taurus rising, Taurus sun sign, to connect with your dreams, literally your dreams, but also your visions for your, your life, your career, if you will. So a lot of Taurus people, even though it's a fixed sign and they tend to stay in a career path for a long time, this is one of those transitional times. However, because Saturn in Pisces harmonizes with Taurus, their transition is likely to be a lot easier than many people. So it's a time to really give yourself credit. Don't let other people dissuade you from pursuing a goal or a dream that sounds impractical. Oh, you can't do that. Nobody makes a living at that. Well, you could. It's that difference. Another thing with Saturn transiting through Pisces for Taurus people, Taurus sun, Taurus rising. Saturn is transiting their 11th house, which is opposite the fifth of romance love, children, and creativity. Those three things. Those two are in a transition so that they are getting serious, Saturn, about love, marriage, children, and creativity. And they're being asked to take a look at those things and to be real about is the marriage or the current relationship I'm in, is it working? Or is it not? If they're single going into this transit of for now through February of 26, if they are single, they are very likely to meet somebody who, in fact, is a karmic relationship. It doesn't have to be romantically. It can be in business. You and I have a karmic relationship here. I think it's all Venus and Saturn. Uh, but it's that, too. It can be those kinds of relationships, but people's creativity, Saturn in Pisces, opposite the fifth house in relation to Taurus on the ascendant or Taurus sun sign has to do with their creativity. And they usually will be trying. There's something they've always wanted to do. Started as a hobby, 
just started as a hobby. Pottery, art, painting, music, dance, creativity, photography, uh, any of those things are another discipline that combines not only art and creativity with the, the body and mind and spirit connection is yoga. Yoga. It's a wonderful form of exercise. Tai Chi is another one. So that there you're exercising the body, which is always good for people with Taurus rising because they can be sometimes lethargic or a little overindulgent, begin to gain weight and so on. And uh, now is a perfect time to take up some discipline that has a sort of metaphysical, spiritual component to it, like Tai Chi or yoga, as well as a physiological connection and in that that sort of scenario they're meeting people they would never have met otherwise and among those people may be somebody who turns out to be a karmic tie either from a business and creative standpoint or possibly even a romantic standpoint so that's something else to be aware of with that transit Oh, I'll tell you what, I wish I was a Taurus <laughs> right now. I'm like, oh, I like <laughs> I like what I just heard. That's great on all fronts. All those things ruled by Venus. Yay. You know, that's not so bad either. I mean, this is not an aspect to be feared is what I heard you saying. I didn't hear Absolutely. anything. Absolutely. Yeah. True. Yeah. It's like in all of these cases, what I've heard with Aries last time, Taurus this time, we're raising our bar. I love the term on my highest timeline. That's my mantra, as the people who listen to the other podcasts know. This is high timeline stuff that you're talking about. All right, let's peek around the corner to next time. What about Gemini? Saturn is transiting Pisces. That is Gemini's 10th house. Pretty much everything, their career, their home and family, where they live, what they do for a living. Those have major changes coming. It's a bridge. Gemini is a bridging sign, so that's okay. But you're bridging between now and February 26 into a whole new way of living. I and know maybe we, a place of living as well. I know we will have some Geminis listening for that. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait. You're not going to cut me off here. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> All right. That's showbiz. That's the way it rolls. We'll stay we'll, tuned. Yeah, we'll be back with that. Meanwhile, and, buy the soap. Right, exactly. And see what everybody else is doing now, Cancer and Leo and Virgo. and Leo. They're counting down like, what's my house? <laughs> I know oh, the right, sharp ones right, are already right. on it. Okay, well, thank you so much for that, Robert. And if you'd like to talk to Robert, and all, if you'd like to buy some of our clothing that Sarah Wakeman is running for us, if you'd like to join the Discord group that Kristen Lawhead is doing, just a phenomenal job with a lot of great continued conversation in there, it's all on the show notes. Thanks so much for listening. We'll be back on the Old Soul, New Soul Astrology Podcast with Robert Glasscock. <laughs>